good morning everyone it's a joy to be in the presence of god this morning even as we observe this day as a day of prayer as we've been doing for several years now and in spite of the circumstances you know god has given us this opportunity to be in his presence to lift up our voices unto him to bring forth our prayers and supplications because he is a prayer answering god and i believe this morning as we all come together as we worship him as we you know kneel before his power and his authority shall we just spend a few moments as we prepare our hearts as you are in your homes uh, prepare your hearts before we enter this time of prayer thank you jesus i want to share this word from scripture from isaiah chapter 60 as the prophet isaiah writes and he prophesies he says arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the lord rises upon you may the glory of god rise in your homes rise in your family rise in your hearts as we worship and praise him as we spend time in his presence thank you lord we have come into his house to call upon his name and worship him We have come into his house to call upon his name and worship him We have come into his house to call upon his name and worship Christ the Lord worship Jesus Christ our Lord let's lift up our voices to him we have come into his house to call upon his name and worship him we have come into his house to call upon his name and worship him we have come into his house we have come into his house to call upon his name and worship Christ the Lord worship Jesus Christ our Lord our holy hands and magnify his name and worship him let's lift up our hands in his presence let us lift up holy hands and magnify his name and worship him let's lift up our hands let us lift up holy hands and magnify his name and worship Christ the Lord oh worship Jesus Christ our Lord oh worship Jesus Christ our Lord oh worship Jesus Christ Jesus Christ our Lord Oh yes Lord as we come into your presence this morning we just want to lift up our voices and say hallelujah hallelujah to the king of kings and the lord of lords He is the king who is enthroned on the throne and he's seated on the throne and he's going to listen to our voices and we are going to sing hallelujah to this king this morning oh yes my lord hallelujah hallelujah lift up our 
voices. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We lift your name on high. Hallelujah. Join me as we sing I am I am We come into your presence Lord No me Lekar hum Stuti at this moment hallelujah wherever you are lift up your hands at this moment and say lord we just want to surrender ourselves we want to open our hearts lord not be worried about what the situation and circumstance around us is but we just want to say hallelujah to the king of kings hallelujah to the lamb of god hallelujah Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we come into your presence at this moment. Acknowledging Lord that we are nothing without you. And Lord, today even the world realizes and they're crying out to that god and i pray lord that as a church as the ubm church as we spend this day of prayer lord we would reach to the ends that we have not yet touched you would extend the boundaries of the ubm church oh lord and as we begin this day of prayer we want to invite your presence in our midst may the beginning of this day of prayer be in the name of god the father god the son and god the holy spirit amen amen i i believe that you all are excited today i am excited and uh, you know in spite of all the challenges god has enabled us to you know get the worship team together all the pastors are working so hard and you know having all the prayers compiled a lot of effort going but we are doing it for the glory of god we are doing it because we believe that uh, we were we are able to connect to all of you and be a part of this celebration of the day of prayer we didn't want to miss on this day of prayer 
and let us praise God today and worship him as we sing this song aaj ka din you know as the bible says this is the day that the lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it how many of you are going to join me in rejoicing the king of kings and the lord of lords come on let's let us raise our voices you know uh, i i want you to clap wherever you are si- uh, uh, sitting in your homes you have some instrument come on pick it up pick up the instrument and play and join us as we worship him and praise his holy name we're going to sing this song aaj ka ye din yehova ne banaya hai amen amen come on Come on put your hands together Wherever you are Aaj ka ye din Aaj ka ye din Yehova ne banaya hai to aao kal hum khushiya manaye aao आज का ये दिन आज का ये दिन ये हुआ ने बनाया है तो आओ कर हम खुशिया मनाए आओ धन्यवाद हो धन्यवाद हो धन्यवाद हो तेरा धन्यवाद धन्यवाद हो धन्यवाद हो मैं हूँ तेरा आज के दिन हम भूल जाए चाहे निराशाओ को आशाओ का है ये दिन यीशु मसीह तो हमारे है संग कोई नहीं तेरे बिन हम भूल जाए कबा लेट ज्वाइन इन हम भूल जाए निराशाओ को आशाओ का है ये दिन यीशु मसीह जो हमारे है संग कोई नहीं तेरे बिन आज के दिन तो आओ मिलकर हम सब नाचे तो आओ मिलकर हम सब गाए धन्यवाद हो धन्यवाद हो धन्यवाद हो तेरा धन्यवाद हो धन्यवाद हो मैं हूँ तेरा आज के दिन विल ज्वाइन इन टूगेदर एंड से ग्लोरी ग्लोरी लॉर्ड ग्लोरी ग्लोरी लॉर्ड We give you glory Lord Glory glory Lord you are the mighty God We say glory glory Lord Glory glory Lord We give you glory Lord Glory glory Lord you are the mighty God Sing to the Lord a new song Sing his praise to the ends of the earth let every nation tell it declare it till every man is heard glory glory lord glory glory lord we give you glory lord glory glory lord you are the mighty god glory glory lord glory glory lord We give you glory Lord 
Glory, glory, Lord, you are the mighty God. Come on, we are going to do it now in Canada. How many of you are going to uh, rejoice and, you know, celebrate glory, glory, Lord? You know, the, the word of God says, the heavens declare the glory of God. The heavens declare. And today we are going to say, here on earth, Lord, we want to declare your glory. And the words of uh, the Canada goes like this, Mahime, Mahime Prabhu. I want you all to shout out. Your neighbors should know that we are praising and we are giving glory to God. No, Mahime, Mahime Prabhu. Come on. Mahime, Mahime Prabhu. Come on, let's join. Mahime Prabhu. Mahime, Mahime Prabhu. Ninge Mahime Prabhu. Mahime, Mahime Prabhu. Nine Sarva Shaktanu. Nine Sarva Shaktanu. Nine Sarva Shaktanu. You are the mighty God. 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 Let us just lift up our hands as we praise Him at this moment. Thank you, Lord that you are the king of kings and you deserve all the glory and all the honor that is due unto your holy name. As we continue to praise the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, join me together as we sing this next Kannada chorus and song which says, Na vottagi hadona, kartana stutisona, mahimeya padisona. You know, Bible says that God dwells in the praises of his people. You know, uh, let's put our hands together. If you have some instruments at home, pick up those instruments. Let's make some noise and celebrate in the presence of God and give glory and honor to His holy name. Now, Wattagi Hadona. Come on. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Sona, Devan and Ami 
Thank him for the presence that he has given unto us. Thank you, Jesus. You know, the Bible says as Paul, uh, you know, admonishes to the church and he, you know, brings notice uh, to the church. He says in Philippians chapter 2 and verse 10, that at the name of Jesus, listen to this very carefully, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven above, on earth beneath, and under the earth and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord that Jesus Christ is Lord let us just close our eyes in the presence of God and invite that name of Jesus in our midst as we worship him as we give him all the praise and thanksgiving he is seated on the throne and as we lift up our voices to him today we want to declare Lord that you are above every power on this earth every sickness every disease every pain every suffering Lord your name is above his name Tarak Nam Yeshu Nam Jai Jai Nam Yeshu Nam Tarak Nam Yeshu Nam Jai Jai Nam Yeshu Nam Tarak Naam, Yeshu Naam, Jai Jai Naam, Yeshu Naam. Tarak Naam, Yeshu Naam, Jai Jai Naam, Yeshu Naam. Aaj hamare wo saat hai. हमारे उसके हाथ हैं आज हमारे वो साथ हैं कल हमारे उसके हाथ हैं तारक नाम यीशु नाम जय जय नाम यीशु Friends, as we believe that the name of Jesus is above every name, as Paul admonishes, we are reminded that in his name there is healing, in his name there is redemption, in his name there is power. Thank you, Jesus. Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam, Kije. Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam. Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam, Kije. Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam.
Islam DJ, let's declare his name is above all names Yes Lord, your name is above all names There is no other name like Jesus Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam DJ Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam, Yeshu Nam DJ Thank you Jesus we want to thank thank you for your wonderful name and we just want to bow before that name may you dwell in our presence at this moment thank you Jesus we just celebrated the glorious resurrection day truly was such a wonderful promise that when Jesus came in the presence of the disciples he said fear not fear not he takes away our fears and the greatest fear that we are facing today the fear of death the fear of sickness the fear of disease but we are those carriers of hope because Jesus is alive and as the songwriter says because he lives I can face tomorrow we just want to declare that the living power the resurrection power of Jesus in our midst as we sing and worship him saying Jeeva Din Yeddavanu thank you Jesus Jeeva din yedavani Ninna aradhani maadvenu Jeeva da dipati Ninna aradhani maadvenu Jeeva din yedavani Ninna
thank you Lord as we continue in his presence what an amazing and awesome God he is and even in these testing times his presence is there to fill us may we ask him this morning Lord fill us with your grace fill us with your love fill us with your compassion fill us O oh Lord with a new joy and a new hope so that we could carry your presence carry the joy and the message of hope even in a hopeless situation like we are in we ask you this morning oh lord that you would fill our cup this once again fill my cup Lord as we call out to his holy name asking him to fill our hearts with his glorious presence Lord this is our prayer this morning that you would fill our cups with overflow as David testified and said my cup overflows may our lives overflow with your joy and your blessings and Heavenly Father thank you for this wonderful presence that you have given unto us as we commence our day of prayer we just want that each and every section Lord you would fill us with new hope you will fill us with your word you will fill us with your power you will fill us that we would be able to face every Goliath that comes in front of us every mountain that we would face we would be filled with your strength and power thank you Lord thank you Jesus in his precious name we pray Amen as we continue this day of prayer we shall now receive from the Word of God as we enter into a time of the word and preparing ourselves for a time of prayer thereon Good morning to one and all. I would like to greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Before we enter into the word of God, shall we just bow our heads for a moment of prayer. 
Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable to you, O Lord, our Rock and our Redeemer. Amen. Friends, on September 1988, the famous American musician Bobby McFerrin wrote a wonderful song which went on to hit the top 10 songs of Billboard. And the title of the song, many of us must have heard this, goes something like this. Don't worry, be happy. One of the phrases of this song uh, reads in such a manner. It says, in life, we have some troubles. If you worry, you make it double. And then he goes on to say, don't worry. This song is very, very famous and so much befitting in this particular period of time. And this year, our theme verse for the day of prayer taken from Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6, we see Paul writes to the church at Philippi, he says, don't worry about anything. Don't worry about anything. And he goes on to say, instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. How true it is that we can take our, you know, troubles to God. We can take our worries to God. Therefore, Jesus himself says in Matthew's gospel uh, and chapter 6, don't worry about what you will eat or what you will drink. Look at the birds in the air. Look at the birds. The Father provides for every need that is there. He goes on to say in Matthew 6, 27, don't worry. By worrying, we cannot even add a single day in our lives. You know, therefore, only Jesus has the authority, I believe, to say, uh, don't worry because he invites us in Matthew 11, come unto me, all ye who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. You know, in in... Uh, today's day and age, if any of us would say, don't worry, everything will be all right. You may say, Pastor, how is it possible? How is it possible that we don't worry? We don't even know what whether the lockdown is going to extend, how long it's going to be. So many analyses are being made. How can we not worry? What about our future of our children, our business, our work? Some of us are getting half pay salary and so many other problems are there. Pastor, how can you say, how can we not worry? This morning from scripture, even before we set foot in a time of prayer, I want to admonish each one of us from scripture, Philippians 4, 6. How can we not worry? Three things Paul says over here. Number one, he says, don't worry about anything. How? Instead, instead, Paul says, pray about everything. In other words, Paul is trying to say, call out unto him. Call out to the king of kings. Call out to your creator because he knows. And as he says, I, I, I hold you in the palm of, your, uh, the palm of my hands. That is how he takes care of every need. When we pray and when we call out to the Lord, we extend the boundaries that, uh, that are around us. We extend the boundaries. Somebody has rightly said, where man ends, God begins. We extend our boundary. Number two, prayer releases the power of God around our circumstances and our situation. Number three, prayer extends our faith in God and more importantly, prayer affirms and establishes our relationship with God. Therefore, Paul says, pray about everything. Number two, Paul goes on to say, tell God what you need. Tell God what you need. In other words, he's saying, share it unto him. 
not only call out unto him, but share it unto him. Pour out your hearts, dearly beloved. Today is the day of prayer where we want to pour out our hearts to him. We want to share it all to him. Why? Because he understands what we are going through. He understands our anxiety. He understands our fear. He understands every pain and suffering, every, every tension that you and I have. Therefore, even as, as uh, uh, you know, Peter was sinking at that moment and he cried out, Lord, help me. The Lord Jesus held his hand and lifted him up. Dearly beloved, be still and know that he is God. He is still in control of the situation of your life. You know, there's this beautiful verse in Psalm 91 and verse 7 that always encourages me. It goes like this, a thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at, uh, at your right hand. But the promise verse is this, but it will not come near you. That is what happens when you share it to him. And thirdly, we see Paul says, give thanks unto him. Give thanks unto him. Thank him for all he has done. Not only call out to him, not only share it to him, but also number three, give thanks unto him. How many of you want to uh, say today, Lord, I want to thank you for everything that you have blessed me with in spite of the challenges that we are facing, yet you have kept me, my family, my children, my husband, my wife safe under the shadow of your wings. I just want to thank you. When we thank God, what we are doing is, I believe three things. We believe in the power of God. Number two, we believe that he is going to answer our prayer. And finally, we believe that God knows what is the best for us. Are you going to join me this morning? As Paul says, as Paul says, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. I'd like to conclude by reiterating this verse. Please join me as we say this verse together. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. Come on, believe, close your eyes, fold your hands, bow your heads and claim this promise verse, which is the theme verse for our United Day of Prayer today. Come on, share with me. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Father, thank you for the promise of your holy word this morning. And as we commence and begin our day of prayer, we draw strength from scripture. And Lord, and we surrender the entire day into your hands. You take charge and control of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As we begin this time of prayer, let us self-introspect into our own lives and get right in the presence of God. As David prays in Psalm 139, he says, Lord, search me and know my heart today. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Shall we just close our eyes and look into our own selves at this moment as we sing this beautiful song, Ninna Sanidya Ke. Nananu Serisu Nanna nanu se 
ಸಾನಿಧ್ಯಕ್ಕೆ ನನ್ನನ್ನು ಸೇರಿಸು ನನ್ನ ಬಯಕೆಯ ಯೇಸುವೆ ತೀರಿಸು we begin this day of prayer the first aspect that we are going to spend time is in a time of self introspection in the presence of god as we see in scripture second chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14 the bible says if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then i will hear them from heaven and i will forgive their sins and i will heal their land let us claim this promise uh, this morning shall we just quiet in our hearts close our eyes bow our heads wherever we are and spend some time in spe- self introspecting our own lives let us seek the forgiveness of god and say lord i am sorry for the things that i have done wrong through my words through my actions through my thoughts i have not realized the way in which i have responded many a times to people many a times i have ignored my relationship with you with my fellow brethren dear father forgive me that i would be cleansed with the precious blood of jesus and i would stand in the righteousness that comes through the blood of jesus as david prayed search me o god and know my heart today test me and know my anxious thoughts see if there is any wicked ways in me and lead me in the way everlasting kindly repeat this prayer after me dear lord even as i come before your presence this morning i seek forgiveness from you i am not worthy to stand before your presence but lord i thank you 
for the precious blood of Jesus that enables me to enter and stand before the throne of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And I believe that you will answer our prayers as we intercede right through this day for various aspects. I submit, surrender, and yield myself before your authority. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Dearly beloved, as we continue this time of prayer, it is a time for us to pray for our families. You know, families are so very important. And I'm sure that the lockdown period has enabled us to, you know, share these moments with our family where in the hustle and bustle and the busyness of our lives, we have never been able to spend that kind of quality time. But God has given us this opportunity, I believe, that we could bond together, understand our relationship with one another. Let us now bow our heads and spend a short moment of praying and interceding for not only our family, but all the families that are in and around us, especially for the UBM church family. Shall we just bow our heads and look to God in prayer? Father, as we continue in prayer, we want to thank you for the bonds that you have given us for our parents, for our husbands, for our wives, for our children, for our friends, for our uncles, our aunties, our grandfather, our grandmothers, O oh Lord, and for our neighbors, for our church community, O oh Father. Lord God, we just want to thank you, especially for the UBM church family. Heavenly Father, we pray that you would keep us all together in unity and love and togetherness and oneness, O oh Master. We cancel every plan of the evil one. Father God, at this moment, I pray that you would, uh, there would be love and togetherness and harmony in every home, O oh Lord Jesus. Whatever misunderstandings are there, you take it away because you say that I am the Prince of Peace. May your peace rule and reign in the homes of our our family members of oh father Lord God at this moment I cancel every bondage or every uh, bad word or any kind of curse that is declared upon any home Lord in the name and through the precious blood of Jesus we cancel it oh Lord and I pray that there would be freedom and redemption in your name in every home Father God I pray for financial blessings especially in these testing times upon every family Father may our testimonies be that my cup overflows and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and that I will dwell in the presence of the Lord, rejoicing and glorifying His name. Father God, at this moment, I pray for your fiery hedge of protection upon every home and family. Yes, Lord, we saw in scripture, we heard that the thousands may fall at our, at our side, ten thousands at our right, but it will not come and harm us. Lord, we would just want to hold on in faith in spite of the challenging times. Lord God, may you protect our homes with your precious blood and Lord though the angel of death is moving from home to home area to area street to street Lord city to city country to country but Lord may your people be protected and as they call out unto your name may may they experience your healing touch and your healing power thank you father for the wonderful families that you have given uh, given to each and every one of us we pray and submit and surrender not only ourselves but our homes and family uh, also may we live for your glory and be a salt and light in this world. In Jesus' most mighty and matchless name we pray. Amen. Friends, I believe that God is going to bless each of us, bless your homes and family. Don't worry. Believe in his word. Believe in his promises and claim the, the togetherness and the power of God.